Hey guys, I've been meaning to do this video for a very long time, but the weather have never been that good until now, so here it is. Uh, this 100 watt panel from All Powers was gifted to me uh, in order for me to do a review. I get to keep it, but no money has changed hands. So I get to say what I want about it and uh, my true feelings. Thing is, I bought two 200 watt panels early in last summer for my track project that you all know and love, I hope. Um, so I, they contacted me and said, do you want to try out the 100 watt panel? And I said, okay. So I put this on my cargo bike. This is a Swedish made uh, cargo bike, very, very fast and very, very lightweight. And uh, this is my daily driver. I use this to get around town and everything. And for my kind of use, for my purpose with this bike is I can, I don't ever, I have 300 kilometers on this bike now and I really don't need to charge on the wall, even on cloudy days. I'm gonna be honest, I really like this panel for what it is. It's a flexible solar panel, even though I have made it very rigid by putting a, a carbon fiber rod and aluminum struts. I'm missing one. I'm still waiting for one of these parts so I can put a fifth there over there. But the thing is with all powers panels, they are a little bit heavier than other flexible panels, but you don't need any backing. I mean, this is of course backing, but I don't need any additional material here because this is so sturdy, it's very, very tough. I saw Mike Tennant and a guy in the United States uh, use these panels, 200 watt and 100 watt. And I was thinking, they, can, they seem to be able to take any abuse. They're just, uh, they're just handling it. So I was just impressed by the sheer robustness of this panel. So that's what drew me to them in the first place when I saw Eric use them. And uh, then the second surprise came. It was a really good price. I was surprised by the affordability of these panels. And, uh, and they look good. Uh, and solar e-bike, everything is moving, everything is rattling. Uh, other flexible panels I've had in the past, they have broken because they have sh shaken to bits. Because it becomes micro cracks and whatnot that destroys the panels. It loses performance over time. But Apparently, what I've seen, what I've tested, these panels can take a real beating. That's what I'm most impressed by them. And the efficiency is not far off the best ones. I mean, I've tried panels that's four or five times more expensive than this, but I don't see any performance difference. I think these perform great. The only downside, if I have to say something, is they are a little bit more sensitive to shading. So the least amount of shading like this, now the sun is behind a cloud, but if you shade it, it loses a lot of performance just by a little shading compared to, to other panels. The one with the, from Sunbeam I've used before. They could sustain some more wattage. These drop quite a lot, but when the sun is shining and there's no casting shadows on it, they perform just as well as anything else out there. Plus, they are much, much cheaper and much, much more robust. So if you're into anything that moves, like a boat, uh, an RV or something, uh, or an e-bike, I mean, I would definitely go for these all powers uh, panels. I mean, I bought two of them myself with my own money. I was very happy. So what do you think, guys? Should I use this to travel the world instead of the trike? I'm considering it because it's very, very light. <laughs> it's way more efficient than the trike when it comes to energy needs. And the mid-drive motor from CYC is absolutely fantastic. So do I recommend all powers for this application? Yes, I do. Very much. I'm very happy with it. I actually saw peak powers. I have a watt meter inside this bag. As a peak power 114 watts out of a 100 watt panel. That's uh, pretty impressive. 
usually when I ride it flat like this, it produces like seven, between 70 and 75 watts up here in the Nordics. And when I tilt it, I get about 90 to 100. When the panel heats up and gets very, very warm, uh, you lose some efficiency. Uh, it drops down to a regular 90. How to, but that's really good from a 100 watt rated panel. Other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with my solution here because panels don't like being moved or rattling. So I have uh, made my own suspension system here. Uh, carbon fiber eats vibrations. I have rubber gaskets over there. I have rubber gaskets in here. There is multiple places where they absorb uh, vibrations. Plus the mounts here are also on, on rubber silicone hose. So if I do my world tour on this bike instead of the trike, I need to sell the trike. It pains me because it's so lovely, but I, uh, I'm more into bike packing than bike touring. I mean, it's like a mix of the two. Uh, bike touring, bike packing speeds, if you know what I mean. So what I'm considering is making my own trailer from scratch using Topeak uh, hinge system and then just build a, a trailer that only accommodates a 200 watt panel or a 100 watt panel. I haven't decided because this system is so efficient so I don't need that many watts uh, to, to be honest. I'd rather go lightweight I think. So another 100 watt panel behind you on a trailer and I can also use that trailer as a place where I store my tools and spare parts for the bike just to keep it light and simple. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and uh, subscribe because I'm gonna talk everything e-bike related and solar and I'm gonna explain different aspects of uh, solar e-biking and teach you really how to do this because this is my sixth year I'm into so uh, doing solar e-biking so I've learned quite a lot to spend too, way too much money on this if I only had this solution in mind from the start I would have saved a lot of money but it's fun to experiment as well so subscribe like share all of this thank you for watching see you next time bye